everyone. Welcome back to Crafting at Whimsy Wonderland. My name is Stacy. I picked up this placemat at the Dollar Tree today. Um, it says blessed and I plan on cutting this out and putting it on a chicken wire background in a nice little frame. So I've got my scissors and what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim around the chalkboard look as carefully and as nicely as I can leaving a little bit of the black border. I don't want to cut it all off. There it is all cut out. I think it looks so pretty. This was a placemat from the Dollar Tree. Go get one. Here's the completed blessed sign. I decided to use a black frame instead of white chalk paint because I liked the look of the black better. I did lose the video clip of how I assembled this, so I'm going to attach another uh, video showing exactly the same thing with just another sign. So I have one that says bless this kitchen and I will attach this video right now. So I'm gonna find some really firm cardstock, maybe some even cardboard to put on the back of it before I trim it out. And then I'm gonna trim leaving about a quarter of an inch around it so it looks like a chalkboard. It's gonna go back into this frame once it is covered in um, chicken wire and painted with chalkboard paint. And it'll be just the shape of the mason jar with um, chicken wire facing out around it. I glued the graphic to the cardstock using rubber cement and then I cut around it just like I did on the blessed placemat. I did not have to glue the placemat to cardstock because it was already a durable material. So now I'm going to show you how I attach this to the chicken wire and I did it the same way for the blessed sign as I did for this mason jar sign. So I hope that this makes sense, and if you have any questions, just post them below, and I will do my best to answer them quickly. I decided to use a beefier frame than the one that came with the sign, so that's why the frame is different here. I painted the frame black, and on the back side, we stapled some hardware or chicken wire on the back, and it left some rough edges, so my husband just put a nice little trim piece of wood around it because I'm going to be selling these and I didn't want um, raw edges. If I was just going to have it for my own kitchen I would have just tapped each one with a little bit of hot glue each little edge of the wire and that would have been just fine but to actually sell it I wanted it to be a little bit nicer. So this trim piece of wood is covering up all the staples and all the pokey pieces of wire. So this is going to go up and down and I cut, after I cut this out, I cut another one out of just cardstock black. And I'm going to place this underneath of my frame. And I'm going to center this black piece as best I can. It's not going to be perfect because the chicken wire is not exactly perfect. It's a little bit crooked. That's pretty good. Then I'm going to take some scotch tape and I'm going to tape over the wire onto this piece of black cardstock that I have on the bottom. And I'm pushing the wire down onto the paper so that it gets a good adhesion. And don't use big pieces of tape because it's hard. You've got to get it through the wire. Okay, here comes the magic. I am going to glue this beautiful piece to this piece through the wire, and then I'm going to sandwich the wire in between the pretty piece and this backing piece. So I'm going to start up at the top, and I'm going to go just around the edges of the lid at first, and get a decent amount of glue in there. If it cools a little bit, that's okay. And then I'm going to push this down and I'm just going to ouch hold it till it has time to harden. And I'm 
that is done. Isn't that cute to be hanging in a farmhouse kitchen? I thought that would be an adorable thing. Also, I hope that you go out to the Dollar Tree, see what kind of kitchen artwork or fun artwork that fits your style that they have out there. If you like it on chicken wire and see what you can do for some farmhouse decor. Thanks for stopping by. This has been Crafting at Whimsy Wonderland. See you next time.